Alison Waterworth. I'm a senior project manager at ACOM. I'm also a chartered engineer and a member of the ICE. That's the Institution of Civil Engineers. I'm here at Manchester Airport where I'm currently working as a development manager. Manchester Airport opened in June 1938. That's almost 80 years ago. It's currently the UK's largest airport outside of London. Manchester Airport handles 27 million passengers every year and it offers flights to more destinations than any other airport in the UK. It contributes £1.7 billion to the UK economy each year. It also provides over 70,000 jobs for people in the North West. Since the second runway opened in 2001, Manchester has attracted more investment in the area, turning Manchester into a profitable and bustling region. It's an exciting time to be here as the Manchester Airport Transformation Project is underway. So what's going on here? MAN-TP is a £1 billion development project to transform Manchester Airport and the surrounding areas into the most modern and customer-focused airport in Europe. So what does this mean in reality? The airport is being transformed to cater for the ever-increasing number of passengers. There'll be a stylish new departures lounge and a business lounge with over 50 new shops, bars, restaurants, all with the theme of the proud industrial heritage that we have here in the north. There's going to be new high-tech self-checking facilities, baggage reclaim is going to be faster and security clearance will be even quicker still. Of course, to accommodate the extra passengers, improvements to the road network are going to be made including new parking facilities such as the multi-storey car park being built behind me. Whether you're travelling to Hong Kong or Houston, Singapore or San Francisco, Mallorca or Mauritius, the transformation to this airport is going to provide a world-class welcome to the north. So what role do civil engineers play in all of this? Civil engineers are used in all stages of construction. The Manchester Airport Transformation Project has been designed by civil engineers, the construction phase is now being managed by civil engineers, and in the future it will be maintained and even demolished under the guidance of civil engineers. Engineers are essential to the development of not just the UK, but the rest of the world. They are the hidden heroes behind every bridge, highway, railway, power station, airport, basically everything that you see. Sounds interesting, right? Engineering is exciting. You don't have to be the best at maths and science, but you have to be a problem solver. Engineers, including civil engineers, have to think outside of the box and have a logical and analytical mind. Imagine being able to say, I designed that, or I managed the construction of that. And imagine being able to understand the impact that your design has had on society, on a local, national, or even international level. You can really leave your mark on this world, and that's why I love my job. I've worked in all kinds of interesting and unique places around the world, from the top of the fourth row bridge in Scotland to the freezing cold winters of Moscow. No two days have ever been the same. How many other jobs can you say that about?